Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another makeup video. Today's theme is Cemetery. I already did my base. I created a base video. I will link it below for you guys if you want to see how I got here. And the only thing different is I went ahead and applied my concealer to my eyes so that I can just get started with the makeup look. Today is going to be like a simple black and gray look. So I'm going to try and stick to this one palette. It's called Blowing Smoke from ColourPop. And it has pretty much all of the grays and the blacks that you could possibly need. And that's how it looks. And I already drew out how I want things to look. I'll insert some clips of that later. But yeah, I'm just going to be using the black blowing smoke palette. I have a mirror right behind my phone. This is all real up to that. But I might be using the mirror here just so I can get a closer look and see like what I'm doing exactly. I usually do a darker cut crease and work my way up starting dark to light. But because I want this cemetery look, I want the black, um, I want the gray liners that I'm going to be using today to stand out in contrast. So it's actually going to be like a darker cut crease and then like a lighter, it's going to be a, a light cut crease but like a darker base. Kind of do like a smoky eye thing. Like we'll see how that turns out and how I want things to look. So I'm going to be starting off with this tiny little round brush to do my black. Actually I'm going to do a gray, a really dark gray. And that's what I'm going to use to kind of line where I want things to be. That. And I'm just loosely creating that shape that I want. It's okay if it's a little bit messy because I'm going to blend it out. I went ahead and I blended everything out. I started with this shade and then I blended it into this shade and then I blended that into this shade and then as for like around this cut crease area I dabbed a little bit of this glitter and then I added a little bit of this glitter here and that's why there's just a little bit of shimmer but I didn't want to add too much because I didn't want to take away from the pigment that I already laid down and now I'm just going to do a darker base blend it in my cut crease so I went ahead and I blended my eyes out with three different glitters so right at the beginnings I'm using this light glitter and Wait, this is in the middle, this one's at the beginning, this one's at the end. So that's why you see like a nice little transition. And then I went ahead and used Sugar Pill Sleep Blogger Pressed Eyeshadow. This shade here. And this is what it looks like when open. Like this is how it looks. It's a shade that I mainly use as a highlight, but I went ahead and added it to the corners. And right now, I am taking this shade in the BS is called flashing so this right here is what I'm using in my under eye waterline and this is the type of brush that I'm using wait so I went ahead and did this eye first so I can walk you through this process and you have like a point of reference as to like what to expect this to develop into i'm using glamour line arts so for my gray i'm using smoke for my lighter gray it's called frosty it's more like a metallic silvery color and then for my white highlights and stars and moon and all that i'm using mist so that is what i'm using today I just got this body painting palette because I wanted to experiment more with some Halloween looks and play around with some face painting stuff and I'm using this palette. I'm not doing any type of body painting today but I did go ahead and use this black 
to get my bats in because the darker shade I have is smoke and smoke is a dark gray it's not quite black so this is what I'm using for my black today um, I'll show you guys some face painting videos later but today the focus is mainly on the eyes so this is what we're looking like I drew some headstones, a tree, a bat, a moon, some stars, like I want it to look like a foggy cemetery. So that is what I'm doing. This isn't technically a brush, but this is a tool that has like a little ball on it like this. And then these are the main brushes that I'm using. This one, I feel like this type of brush is essential to get that nice swoop action that I like to get and these two brushes are like essential to get this so these are not nail art brushes they're like fine detail art brushes they're made for people who do like acrylic paint or oil paint and they want tiny little details but I use it for my makeup and it does the exact same thing because makeup is very tiny it's on the eyes i have to be able to get those really nice fine details that traditional makeup brushes do not allow me to get did a time lapse of me doing this but this is the final look on this eye I went ahead and uh, went over this with a black I went over the gray with the black as far as like my cut crease goes with my lines and over here added some white and some uh, added white and frosty for my highlights and that's pretty much the look. The only thing left to do is for me to put on my eyebrows. I'm not going to do any freckles today because I feel like I like the freckles that are colorful. Black freckles. I don't know about that. Like black, gray, or white freckles. I'm not sure how that will look or if I would even like the way that would all come together. But I'm going to put on my brows, my lashes, and finish my lipstick to do a whole completed look and I will be back. This is the final look. I put my lashes on. This is the style we're going with today. And here's what it looks like up close. Now for the bats, I did use this face paint because I didn't want to run through my eyeliner so much and I wanted to use like more detailed brushes to get like the pointy lines that I wanted. I did not put on setting powder after doing that to help make it matte and I did smudge it a little bit. I fixed it a little bit but it's still not 
how it was when I first did it. But I'm so happy with the way it turned out and this was a fun thing to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.